Okay, so that's probably why he's at gunpoint, because it's a stolen vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and actually arm up. Stolen I knew he was gonna... Ten dollars. Ten dollars worth of stolen property. I'm just on the side. I'm just listening at this point. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here, doing some Los Santos Police Department in the Port Authority. Decided to get in here with the Dodge Ram this time in the police department, which is kind of cool because it has uh, some differences in mods and stuff like that, which is kind of interesting as well, too. Uh, there's one mod for the back that makes the back a little wider uh, on, like, the seat parts, uh, which I really don't know why or what would be the need of that. And there's also this thing that kind of sits down, which looks to be some type of, like, bar or something. I really don't know what it is. Uh, but, yeah, I decided to use this. This will be interesting in the snow. Uh, we'll probably... It'll probably come in handy, being that, you know, it is snowing and stuff like that. Uh, no specific areas that we're going to be working or anything of that nature. Just pretty much all in the city. Uh, I'm going to have to go swing and just top off my gas. I have my weapon and all that fun stuff. I need to get my radar. Then we should be good to roll. Let's go ahead and see. Let's get that on. Thought that guy was going to run into my car there, but I think he just fell flat on his face. All right, we're going to go ahead and take off. So yeah, a lot of trucks are being, a lot of trucks, SUVs, and stuff like that. Damn, relax, Dick. A lot of trucks and SUVs are being used uh, due to the snow, but I think it's kind of cool because you don't usually see that many trucks and just yeah, pretty much trucks and SUVs on the map all at once. Usually there's definitely chargers in there, uh, but no one's really able to go fast. I mean, even bad guys that try to speed, your ass is slowing down or you're hitting a wall, and that's pretty much it, so... I mean, there's there's zero traction when it comes to a fast car, especially all the new cars that kind of came out. It was like worse timing because there's like six fast cars and you can't even drive them fast or you're going to crash it. So uh, once the uh, weather gets a little better, it's going to be nice to go in. Nice. It's going to be nice to get in there and use those vehicles, kind of have fun with them in dry weather. So that way it's not so deadly. This gas station is popping right now. What the hell? All right, we're 10 in the cat as well, too. Let me just go ahead and double check. Yes, we are. We're good to roll. Hey, I believe we're clear at this time. We'll probably do a beat sweep around the area, yeah. make sure everything's going good. No dead bodies laying on the ground or anything of that nature on the sidewalk. Damn it, it's just there's activity everywhere. There's people driving everywhere. There's people going into the subway. A uh, little turnout over there. Oh, you know what I wanted to do for this? This does look good. Here, I'm going to just back up really quick. I forgot to do this. I knew something looked different. Different than how I usually drive the Ram around. I like to put police rims on uh, just because that's that's me. That's him. Nailed it. Those are the police rims. Straight out of Compton. Uh, I like the police rims. And the reason why I like the police rims is because it, it has a darker tone on the bottom half. Uh, the, you know, chrome rims or, you know, whatever those are you know, painted uh, rims. Oh, they're cool, but I just don't prefer them. I'd rather have me some uh, Dodge rims, which those belong on a, like a BA Charger, but technically same principle considering the fact that it's a Ram Dodge. So they all live in the same world type stuff. So it works for me in the end of the day. That's for sure. Get off my set. Hey, what up, boy? Okay, we just got attached to a uh, traffic stop request. So we're going to go ahead and start out that way, we're most likely going to get a radio call. Go ahead. Can you go ahead and route to Vespucci Boulevard 745 for a 1032 request? I'll be around. 10-4. Okay, so it's going to be a 32 request on a uh, traffic stop. Nothing too high priority we need to go out to. You going to stay in your right lane? Yes, you are. So it's actually going to be right around the corner. I didn't even know it was that close, honestly. I was kind of just chilling there in the parking lot because not much was going on. So now we just got to locate exactly where. Oh, you know what? He might have called for a 32 because the guy pulled into super like sketchy ass spot. And I probably would have done the same because I don't see him on the road here. What road is it on? It's going to be Vespucci Boulevard nearest Postal 745. So we should be in the area. 745. Let me go ahead and uh, look in this little Okay, it's probably going to be that right there. 
Yeah, that's the guy I was looking for earlier. This guy, Vespucci Boulevard. I don't know why he didn't call it 746. Let me go ahead and go through this. Traffic is pretty bad right now. We should be able to park up though. This is the guy I saw earlier. He did something uh, a little sketchy, honestly. Let me go ahead and curb it. Yeah, I saw him doing something. I tried to locate. Oh, it was on the freeway. He he slammed on his brakes and got over uh, really quick. And I was looking for him. Speeding. And I couldn't find him. No, I found him. Well, considering you did it a complete lap around the park, that's uh, four traffic lights. I didn't do a lap around the park. You just about tried. Anyway, stop. So, uh, you can, uh, I'm not going to harass him over what I right? saw earlier. How you doing, man? Not too bad, man. How are you? I'm good. Just cold, but good. Yeah, it's snowing a little bit. Yeah, how's that thing handling in the snow? You know, it's actually pretty nice. Yeah? Yeah, it moves pretty well in it overall for what you'd expect it to. Yeah. So what were you doing? What did he say you, you did? Uh, he said I did laps around the park. I guess. What what park is that? What do you mean? Laps around the, the park right behind us. Oh, that little art center yeah. thing? Yeah. Yeah, whatever the hell that is. No. Uh, look here, Mr. Ryder. I, I don't want to treat you. <laughs> I thought he just said, look well, here, mister. <laughs> I was going to be like... <laughs> I, just, uh, I think he ran a few red lights. Down. That's probably what piqued the interest of uh, this so, officer behind him. Now, why aren't you doing this at a racetrack? Public roads ain't the place to do this. Well, there's an entry fee there, and then they have to inspect your car, and you have to make modifications if they don't like it. It's a whole process. I've tried. I'm pretty sure the Hellfire would come standard for a track. You know what I mean? Just ready to roll. Quick inspection, probably, and then you're good to go. You know how much this car costs a month? They can't afford it. They want to inspect the ones that people have worked on by themselves well, that could possibly blow up at any second. Because I'm going to be writing up quite a few tickets today. Uh oh. As I said, you've been doing a few questionable. Like, His are tires are so snowy, it's not even funny. But uh, I, might, I might ship it. Holiday season, yeah. man. Hmm? It's a holiday season. Yeah, well. Well, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a holiday spirit by maybe taking a couple off. It looked like powdered donuts now that I look at it. Oh, God, that's great. Mine aren't even that snowy. Are you big of a Scrooge as he is? I, I didn't see what he saw, so I'm not able to really input my side of it. Did you run red lights, though, or was... I mean... Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay, well. I mean, if he ran red lights and he saw it, then there's pretty no... There's... <laughs> it's not like he's not doing his job. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Okay, well, I he's gotta do what he's gotta do. Is there a Black Friday sale? Are they half off the tickets? And you'd have to talk to the courthouse about that. Well, I'll see. I'm still parked on the curb. Gotta love it. All this traffic is just hammered because of this traffic stop location. Cars are used to having that full lane, and this is ruining their holidays. Paying a ton of fines, you're going to be getting a bit less. So I took two year traffic light violations off here, and I'm going to give you public endangerment rather than reckless driving. Be giving you the prison sentence, obviously. So that's only going to be seventeen hundred and ten rather than wait, probably close to like three thousand. Did he say, Ooh. did he say he's giving him public endangerment or taking that off? There goes my sound system. I'm so confused. Sorry about that, man. By the way he explained you gotta, that. You gotta drive normally on the road. I know it's a new car, but you can't do what you're doing. I don't, I'm so confused. I'm a fellow officer and I'm confused. So let me just get them printed up for you. We'll get them signed. Okay. 
So they are just fines. I, I thought he said something about public endangerment. Why do you guys' outfits look like UPS? And I was morbidly confused. I was gonna be like, mine is a blue outfit, sir. Are you colorblind? All right, I'm gonna 10-8 just so we have the ability to go out to something else in case something right, else does happen. This seems to be wrapped up. The, uh, Everything's good here. Tickets, nice car. I do like the color combo. He has some type of pearlescent uh, metallic red or something, which is kind of cool. Not really my favorite. I think it would look better if it was just standard black to red. Uh, but you know, you know what they say. There is so many Fetzlers out, it's not even right, funny, dude. That's like the eighth one I've seen. That one's bright orange. Hey, but keeps pen. Seems legit. You did not have me a pen. Seems legit. He's gonna steal his pen. Oh, that's rough. I ain't got your pen, man. I don't know what. I don't got your pen, man. <laughs> oh god. I, I don't have your this pen. guy's gonna piss and this cop off. He cut like he gave him a break and he's still gonna take this dude's pen. Oh he's gonna be pissed. It's my pen. It's he's gonna have a pen argument. No, he's dropping facts. He's like, dude, I got that pen for Christmas. He said it cost. Wait, wait, right, wait, wait. Hey, well, how'd you get it for Christmas if it cost ten dollars? He is gonna Step arrest this head. motherfucker for yes, a pen the theft. Step out of the vehicle. Oh Look, my god. Pen. Why am Step I even here? Car. Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna fold my arms. Go around to the front of the charger. I have nothing to say. I'm just gonna fold my arms. Over a pen. Yes, I'm just pen. gonna. You'll make, you literally brought this on yourself. Face the charger. He's taking what, him, to jail. To jail? <laughs> He's no, taking him to jail. He's taking him to jail. Oh god! I thought he was taking him to jail. Yes. I'm just gonna sit quietly in the background and just be like, shakes the head, like, what the fuck is you going say, on? Have your damn pen. Search his suspect head. for pen. This guy is a hardened criminal now for this pen theft that he just partook in. My god. This is some next I level for this is some next level. Have a look in your car for this pen. You I don't consent to that. <laughs> I don't consent to that. Property, sir. You kind of I don't have your property. Have you even looked inside of your vehicle, sir? That I gave you my pen. Do you think I'm, I'm free paying you my tax dollars for this right now? <laughs> oh my god. How long is this going to go? Yeah, the pen's not state owned. When are they gonna look at the guy with the sergeant stripes that's over there with the fucking his shit cross wondering what is going on? You don't know it. Stolen property. Stolen I knew he was gonna ten dollars. Ten dollars worth of stolen property. I'm just on the side. I'm just listening at this point. I don't have your pen, man. Right. I want you to sit on the hood. Stay there while I search your vehicle. Whatever. You do <laughs> he says whatever. And put you in the back of my vehicle, and then I will still search it anyway. All over a pen. What is he doing? Busting out some quick yoga. Searches car for my pen. He is determined to get his pen, dude. This is. Some next level shit I'm witnessing right here. I need to do some yoga to get off all this bad energy that off. Finds inside out. a driver's door, so he did find his pen. My, pen. my god, am I able to leave this so pen this? theft now? What's this? A figment of my imagination? It's got my name written on the bottom of it. Okay, well I'm glad we got your pen your back. Pen. I'm gonna take off. You have a good one. Thank you, sir. You yep. describe it? I don't have, that's, not, that's my pen. Give it back. Oh, I am not going to deal with that anymore. I am just walking back to the truck. Fuck that shit. They're going to go on the penisode. I'm not even going to fucking deal with that. Let me just drive off the fucking curb. It is one fucking... Monkey 24. Can you go ahead and round through Davis Avenue 845 for silent alarm? Suspect rammed his car through the bank. 
Milwaukee 24, being Route Code 3. Okay, so we've got a silent work. alarm. We have someone that just yeah, ran their... Not the bank. My bad. Milwaukee 24, 10, 9. One King 24, be advised it's the Mega Mall, not the bank. Milwaukee 24, copy. Okay, so it's going to be the Mega Mall, not the bank. I don't... I don't need... <laughs> 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 okay, so right now we had someone that just rammed their vehicle Are you able to through the to front doors of the seven? Mega Mall, I believe. That's what's coming out right now. I'm not okay, sure. So that or it could be... Um, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and see if there's... Oh, yeah. We got someone on scene here. Probably going to be the guy in the muscle car. This well, is already, not the... Uh, odd scene. I was just coming over here to check out why he was here. I wasn't aware of the call. 10 4 2 Lincoln, 3 one four. Okay, so there's an officer on scene. Uh, he was rolling through, happened to see this guy, and I believe that he has drove, drove his vehicle into the front doors of the, uh, of the Mega Mall here. So let's go ahead and mark ourselves 23 on scene. I don't think we have a robbery. Let me go ahead and dial on a robbery. Black SUV person says possible. Angle grinder suspect went east. Carson unknown if something was stolen. Manager is Ferguson Nook. Robber using a pan contender SUV black color. Monkey okay, 24 dispatch. If you could put a bolo out for the vehicle that's in the call, please. 10 4 1 King 24. Okay, I gotta talk to this guy and see what's going on. How's it going? Could be better. How are you? I'm doing good. How's it going, sir? Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going. So, what's going on here? Uh, all right, so I got a. Um, I'm the manager of the uh, super mall here. My name's Ferguson Nook. Um, I was called down here by my security agents. Um, they stated that there was an SUV that came by and smashed through the glass door right behind you um, and entered the safe room to take a deposit from the Christmas sale that we had earlier today. A we deposit. Closed early. Um, because there was a uh, huge intake of, um, of customers and we didn't have enough uh, stock to keep it going. Um, but yeah, I, I was just called back down here uh, to check it out and help you guys out. Okay. Um, and you gave the description to 911 already, correct? Uh, I believe the insurance agency did, yeah. Okay, so someone spoke to 911 and gave them the correct information? I believe so, yes. Okay. Um, if we have everything we need, along with suspect information, I think we're good with you then. We'll just keep our eyes out for the uh, information that someone handed us earlier. Okay. Uh, do you know if they gave you any camera information or no? I know we had a uh, vehicle description, and that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if there was anything else I could take a look. Hold on. Okay. Milwaukee 24 copy. Could be stolen vehicle. Thank you. Okay, so right now we've got to see... Okay, right now we're getting reports of the vehicles possibly stolen right now. The vehicle is possibly stolen right now anyways, so I'm not sure if we're going to get much luck with that. Okay. Uh, I did an inventory check of the safe. Um, I counted at least $125,000 taken out of there. Um, they didn't take it all, but it's definitely a large amount. What's your going with your bullet? It's going to be a two door low to the ground muscle vehicle. It's going to be all solid black with two white racing stripes in the middle separated. I clocked it going 72 and a 50 off of Route 68, headed down towards. Okay, how uh, long ago Sonora. did this happen? Yeah, I lost it off Sonora Norway, passing Rick Steyer. Uh, thought he went on to Sonora Freeway, uh, northbound. Uh, probably about 20 minutes ago. I just arrived about five minutes ago, so I look pretty close. Okay. 
All right, well, I noted that uh, that amount of money is gone. Right now, we tried to run the plate. It's not coming back to anything at this time, so most likely stole the vehicle, did what they did. Okay. Um, we're going to keep an eye out for it, see if it's ditched somewhere, though. Um, see where we can go from there. The money that was in the safe, was it by any chance marked or anything, or just regular cash? Uh, we usually do that uh, the day after, so it's not marked as of now. Okay, does that uh, indicate an inside job, or what does that mean? No, it's just we have we have a separate team that goes in, um, especially during the holidays, and does that. Uh, they usually do it later um, in the same day. Just had that vehicle going north on. Okay, hold on. I think they got the. Hold on. We don't have the time to do it in the moment. Okay. And we're now going south route 13. No Did they say that was the car we're looking for? Uh, stand by. Uh, they're going to approach uh, Joshua right now. I believe so. 10 4 5 I think it was either. Uh, they got a good distance on me right now. Currently, failure to yield. I'm attempting to catch up. Approaching you, tool. Okay, I think we got eyes on the guy. So, you got a contact number that we can reach you on? Uh, yeah, phone number is 46. 10 4, please slow down. Last postal and description, please. 597 Las Lagunas Boulevard. Red primary. Okay, any other information you think that would help? Um, I don't believe so. He we, oh, uh, he was using an angle grinder for the safe. I'm not really sure what that is, but okay. uh, that's what the insurance company said they saw on the cameras. 10-4-air-5-1, can I have your route, please? Okay. Alright, if there's anything else, we'll contact you if we have any more questions or anything of that nature. I believe we're in contact with the guy right now. Alright, I appreciate the help, man. Uh, I'm gonna stick around here and figure everything else out. Um, and, uh, I appreciate the, uh, the assistance. Yep, absolutely. We'll be contacting you shortly. All right, thank you, sir. Absolutely. Be safe out there. Yeah, they're coming down. No, I think it's a LS freeway, not river. Because they were in the county. Okay, so the pursuit that they're having right now is not our robbery suspect. This is going to be unrelated. So we still have our robbery suspect out somewhere doing something. I don't know if they ditched the car. Most likely they ditched the car, especially if it was involved in a robbery like that. It's going to be uh, pretty jank for them to be driving that car around. So we're just kind of chilling here. We have no... Uh, ten, uh, we have no 20s on that suspect that we're looking for. So, you know, staying in front of the uh, Mega Mall here will at least add some police presence so no one will mess with the place for the time being. We're going to see if we get attached to anything. If not, we're going to see if maybe we can do a sweep around the area, see if the vehicle was possibly ditched in the recent vicinity, and uh, kind of work it from there. Hopefully that there's some type of evidence inside the vehicle that we could use to our advantage. If not, they might have just made away with 125000 so that would suck. Okay, so a uh, little update. I guess the people we were chasing was not him, so we'll keep our eyes out. I'm going to do a sweep of the area, but I will contact you either way, let you know what's going on. All right, I appreciate it. Be yep, absolutely. Have a good one. One female, one male. You too, man. Peace Thank out. you. It's gonna be a white female, dark yeah, we'll take off, see if we get anything in the area. Male, Most likely they didn't travel too far because they know the city was popping, so they didn't really want to, uh, you know, mess with anything, I guess you could say. Why did I get called out to that postal code? Unless I typed it in wrong or something. That guy's driving like a maniac. I'm gonna just check the, uh court here just to see if there's anything you know of interest in this area there might be there might not be this could be like a perfect area that people did stuff oh I thought I saw a burnt out vehicle there but it was that van that's always there okay that guy just ran a red light yep he ran a red light and drifted around the corner I was I saw him in the parking lot he was doing some jank shit the whole time I was just waiting though and he fucked it up Right, let's go ahead and get this on the radio. I believe 911 is out of channel anyways. So, I don't think we're going to be able to get this on the radio. We're just going to have to have the traffic stop. 
Okay, breaking <laughs> breaking that window to talk to me. One King 24, 10, 11, 7, 5, 3 on a two door purple vehicle, no 32. All right, let's chat with this guy and see exactly what he was doing. Now I can ask him about why he was uh, acting like a fool inside the parking lot. How you doing? Uh, I stopped you because you blew the red light and drifted around the corner. Any reason for that? You contained it in the parking lot for a long time and then you drifted out. Try and see if I could drift that corner. I mean, I did pretty good. Sorry, I took the light. Not, not necessarily, but all right. Can I get your license or registration, please? Ah, uh, yeah. You got any weapons or drugs in the vehicle? Ah, uh, nah, man. Just, just a gun. That's it. No drugs. Register weapon? Yes, sir. Okie okay, dokie, okay. sit tight for me. Copy, you'll have to put that on standby for him and when he comes to radio, notify him. Alright, let me see what they got going on. Hold on. I'm, I got attached to something. Can you uh, give me uh, 10 lines the description of the traffic stop, please? Location of postal. I think there's an armed subject. Me, 753 Strawberry Avenue. Can I get a description of the vehicle? Unknown, sir. Lucky 24, was there traffic for me? 1 King 24, 10 4, uh, I just attached to the call. It's gonna be, uh, in relation to the, uh, mini, uh, Mega Mall robbery. Uh, suspect just barged into the auto shop, uh, the, uh, standby. It's gonna be at the Power Street, uh, corner. Assaulted the shop manager. He was currently laying on the floor in his office and stole a vehicle. Unknown vehicle. If I can have you and Rother Cope 3, please. Walking 24, copy. I'm on a traffic stop if you get some other officers routed that way. 10 4, is that can you do keep you attached? 10 4. 10 4, uh, Paul 21, and. Okay, we got no revoke, no have, suspended. I, that. I believe that's going to be. Can't tell. I don't know what that is. I think that's one of the new cars, if I'm not mistaken. Or is that a Fudo? That's probably just a Fudo, honestly. Call details are in the attachment. Last you to go ahead. Be advised, sir. Can I get an available investigations unit, preferably highway? I think it's E46 gang or something like that. Okay, this one right here. It's a Sentinel-3. Oh, maybe it is one. Yeah, no, that is a new car. It's not a Fudo. It looks like the Fudo almost with the mods that it has. Like, shit. Control calling any available highway investigation units. Alright, let's get that turned down a little. Not reported stolen. Coming back to Jay Johnson. Uh, so we're gonna get him a ticket today for the red light. X-ray 52, stand by for call. Uh, unit with the investigation call. Can you 10 the, uh, and let's see what else we can get him for. That was definitely public endangerment. Well, not public endangerment. I mean, he could, yeah, I mean, drifting around a corner. That's reckless driving for getting that back end loose. And then we're also going to get the red light violation. This took place. Final stop. We'll just do final stop here. Strawberry Avenue. Elgin, oh gosh. Elgin Ev. Okay, so we have an update on our robbery suspect as well. I think he just did another robbery out in the city. So this guy's on a robbery spree. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. We got traffic held up as well. Seems to be the MO today. Alright, gonna get you out of here with a couple citations, alright? Oh, alright, so. right, one's reckless uh, reckless driving and the other one's gonna be the red light violation. So do me a favor, sign the bottom of the citation. It's not an admission against saying you're gonna take care of them in court. 
Two Lincoln 425. Was the reckless driving from the drift? Yes. Was it clean? Like I said, from my from my perspective, it I knew it was a drift, but it really didn't look like that. But, you know, each his own. Maybe next time. You were you were practicing uh, pra practicing them there for like five minutes too. I was expecting better. All right, uh, there's a copy of your citation along with your information back. Pull out into traffic safely. All right. All right. You have a good day. Um, no, it actually keeps steady on the ground. It, it rips it. That sucks, man. I'd like to see that thing. I'm sure it would be fun. Hi, man. Drive safe. Alright, we're gonna get him out of here. I still got a uh, call we gotta go out to, so let's see. 745. Could you tell me information about what happened at the uh, repair shop 865, please, sir? Oh, repair shop literally right down the road. Interesting. Okay. Oh lord. Assault with the weapon. I think it's gonna be at this shop. Where oh where is it? Walking twenty four, I'm available now if you wanna send me that way. Ten four one kick two four, you're still attached. If I can get the uh seventy three at the new uh location. Alright, we're going out to a code five stop. We got the guy. Location's gonna be seven three nine northbound lane of Alta Street. Yep. Walking 24 on block out. Oh, just what got you, pitted. Like oh, shit. Right Stand by one, please, sir. Oh, it's going down. I gotta turn around. Hold on. He's gonna take off, I have a feeling. Especially if it's going down like this. my right door, sir. I've got it open for you. You're good. I appreciate it. Driver, turn the vehicle off. This snow textures on this thing is crazy. Your right. Sir, with your right hand, turn off the vehicle and put your left hand out of the window. What are you good guns? Once you've taken cool. the keys out of the ignition, stick your right hand out of the window. I don't think anyone has guns. Well, they might have guns well, pointed. Yeah, they do. Guns driver side window, and then I want what you to open guns the door me with your left hand. What are you got guns at me for? Listen to the commands, please, sir. Turn off the vehicle and stick both your hands out of the left wanna do nothing driver wrong. side window. Well, you speed it. You give me a ticket. You don't put me a gun. I think. <laughs> Just Air five was dispatched into the units on the ground. Not sure if you guys have ran it, but it's coming back as stolen. Step out of the vehicle. Okay, so that's probably why he's at gunpoint because it's a stolen vehicle. Side door. I'm gonna go ahead and actually oh. arm okay, up right now. Uh, when ground units want to I'm not asking it, you again. Need it in a second. Yes. Do not reach for anything. Turn off the vehicle and don't you start reaching, motherfucker. I got a nice shot here. If it has to get down to that. I think it's just a single occupant, too. Oh, oh, just give me a ticket and let me go. I'm not doing nothing wrong. All right, this is your last opportunity, sir. Open the door with your left hand outside of the driver's side window and step out of the vehicle. I wasn't feeling speed or nothing. So why you call me a gunpoint fool? We can tell that to you once you're out of the vehicle. He's a body you can go ahead and have a chat once you get out of the car, okay? Is he going to cooperate? Is he not? What is he going to do? You don't lock the car, do you? You don't lock yeah, the car, right? We're not targeting Walking 24, we're still trying to give commands. He's still sitting in the vehicle on cooperative. Are you being racist? I bet if I was American, I wouldn't have this bloody trouble, would I? Air 5-1 dispatch 20. Hey, sir, what do you want to do here? 
Okay, he's out. Put your hands up. Put both your hands up. Stop approaching the vehicle. Put your hands up. 90%. Lucky Tornado, we got one out of the vehicle still not cooperating. No, no, put Take your hands out of your pockets. Hey, back up. What are you going to do about it? Okay, Taser out. I can't see him. Damn, my head. I'm hit my head. Stay on the ground. Uh, you hit my head. What did Taisley for talk? What did do nothing wrong? Oh, I did his body speed and your body size. There we go. Is the vehicle clear? What did I do wrong? Fucking dogs, I'll fuck you up. Fucking pricks. There it is. You watch the oak. I got a mate. I got a mate, and he's been driving for murder before. He'll come here and blow and blow destroy you. I'm gonna clear the vehicle. Alright, sir, go ahead and stand up for me. Vehicle clear. No! I'm sitting here, you're not gonna make me stand Lucky up. Lucky 24, we got one in 1015. Vehicle's clear, we can lift here. Alright, we got one in custody. I'm not sure if this is the guy, but he does have some pretty heavy uh, vehicle damage, too. Oh, this is the guy at the dealership. I see, this is the guy. I don't know, someone threw a rock or something, probably. Okay. You So you don't want to stand up for me at this time? No. No standing right. up, dog. Hey, uh, Lico, can I have you get me to lift him up? Don't you bloody touch me, mate. You want to oh. grab his left? I'll grab my I'll grab rest right now. Gonna... Yep, I got the left. You yep. Don't touch me. Get off right, me. Lift on three. Get your grabbing. One. Get your grabbing fucking two, hands off me, fucking Three. Dog. You. Left. Let's go. No. Alright, we just carry him into my uh, Tahoe if you don't mind. No, that's fine. Why do we have one extra vehicle here? Oh. <laughs> like, uh, we have two cops, three cars. Like, what is that, Math? Get off me, but. I feel like oh, we're missing heavy. someone. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'll fuck you up. I didn't do nothing wrong. Right. What? I'm gonna leave him here. We'll just sit him down for a second. I'm gonna search him again. Speeding, go can't be risk for speeding. Give me a bloody ticket, I'm not driving that bloody stolen Hey, oh, can you, can you keep an eye on, please? The weapon, check with you. I've already cleared the car. Oh, okay. Primary control back in channel. Where is the other officer? There's three cars here, but only two, two of you. I believe he's still in this vehicle, uh, sir. Have one time suspect oh, still on the ground. Uh, no officers ever attended. If I can have you en route there, code three, please. 10 4 10 9 postal. 10 4 5 can you get me to put him back in the vehicle? Are attached from the control channel for 911. I'm looking at any car that can block. Here we go. What? Give me a supervisor. I want a supervisor. He's bloody ridiculous. Don't worry, sir. There's a supervisor right behind you. I need to talk to the on the way in, please, sir. Hey. You stole my socks, dog. All right. Watch your, watch your head on the way in. Okay. I don't want to... Just give me a... I'll roll the windows down on the way in. Nice and just give me I'm gonna give a quick search to the vehicle, see if we have any registration. We need to check red uh, vehicle. Okay, well, if you don't need me, uh, we can figure that out later. Okay. This time you're gonna be under arrest for uh, driving a stolen vehicle as well as assault. Uh, at this time, you have the right to remain Anything you say can be used against you in court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. And 3 80. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed by the state. If you wish, you can decide at any time to exercise oh, this right. Do not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights in mind? Keeping these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to us at this time? If you'd like them, we can add criminal threats to your charges then. Come closer and I'll, and I'll bloody destroy you. 
Come on, let me into the car. In, 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 All right, in, sir. In, in, show me the hill truck. You really that good? Good on you, mate. Okay, the vehicle's coming back to someone who I believe is not him, so it's definitely stolen. Also, it's really not that far from Simeon's, which is right around the corner, right. so he must have circled back or something. So I'm not sure what or why he decided to do that. That makes absolutely no sense. I haven't searched it yet. I was just looking at the registration of the vehicle. What's is this? What's the guy's name? Damn! 22. I believe it was, uh... His name is Harold, but he wasn't giving me any information. That's okay. Just earlier 43 that came from this guy's that this registration is belonging to Howard Kellogg. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not his vehicle. It was reported stolen from the uh, owner of the, uh, I think it's Benny's Motorsports right there. Uh, vehicle matched the description. That he gave. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like he wasn't able to put anything else in there. That's good. Yeah. I'll grab some. All right. Okay. So we're getting this guy for the stolen vehicle from that place, right? He wasn't involved in the robbery, possibly that was at the Mega Mall, or we're not sure at this time. Yeah. I think it's just this vehicle for now. That, that is for sure. Well, at least we can get him on that, and maybe if anything else pops up, we can attach him to that. But if not, at least there's this. Uh, sir, are you, ab are you able to do a DUI? Uh, me? I usually don't do them, no. I just leave them to people that go through them a little more detailed. I just grab the gun, usually. I'll breathalyze him. I got a heavy smell of uh, alcohol from him. We got the open container, so I'll bag these things up and then breathalyze them. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna ask him a few questions, too. Did he, uh, say he didn't want to talk, or...? He didn't want to talk, no. He didn't even want to give me his name. Oh, but good. You're more than welcome to talk. I mean, I'll try. How you doing? Oh, don't give me my supervisor back. Don't give me nothing. Wrong game, poor life for nothing. Oh, he was speeding out in the back of the cop car to nothing. Wrong. I didn't do nothing. In okay, well, you gonna let me talk or what? My dick was back. You said I've been arrested for assault and strong song. Dick was my dick was what you do nothing. Wrong give me my supervisor right now. Okay, well, I'm a supervisor, and right now you're in possession of a stolen vehicle, so that's why you're in handcuffs in the back of a police car. I'll fuck you up, dude. I'll fuck you up. Okay, but you don't want to say that because that's just gonna give you more charges. So, how about you go ahead and tell us what you did today? That way we can figure out what's going on. If I tell you, are you going to be nice to me? I've been perfectly pleasant with you. You've been mean to me because I'm in the back of a bloody cop car. Well, I've told you the reason why. I'll tell you what I was doing today. So, Bison went on was So, I saw. Uh, on, on, on me phone, right, I saw that, that these guys were like selling drugs or something, and you know, all like, West this Bandit is a conflict between us two, you can't tell no one, but I'm a little bit of a so user, like a and basically, uh, I asked him in code if, if uh, they was, you know, Okay, here, let's let's make this easier. Let's make this easier. Were you around the Mega Mall today at all at any point? Mega Mall, we're gonna eat shit up. No way. Okay, so you haven't been to the Mega Mall today. You haven't done anything over there. Okay, so a question I'm curious about is why are you in a stolen vehicle? Because I stole it. Okay. Oh, 22. Oh, I hit your car. Perfect. Okay, well, you just said you stole it, so at that point, where we kind of got what we need. What's your name? For a lesser charge. What's your name? I'm on the highway up 
it's a charge as well, so you'll be racking up a lot of well, so well, so well, so well, so charges. For one fight, I'll give it to you. For a couple hundred dollars, I'll give you my name, but not for jail. Oh, you're going to jail, so if you don't give us your name, we'll fingerprint you and get it anyway, so it's not like it's going to be that big of a mystery. Fine. Well, name's Harold. Harold what? Jimmy. Okay, spell it to this officer since he's taking you in, alright? And start cooperating from now on. I was cooperating the whole time, but... Well, you already stole the car, so... You lying? You lying prick? Don't do not. All right, I'm taking off out of here. Good luck with them. Sounds good. Yeah, thanks, sir. You're welcome. All right, hopefully he's able to keep patrol of that guy. Obviously, he's having a bad day. Uh, he's uh, he admitted to stealing the vehicle, so it's not like it was a really big surprise or anything like that. You know, don't don't be shocked you're in the back of a police car if you just stole a car. I mean, like that doesn't that's not how it works. Uh, so they got a uh, stolen vehicle that's going on right now. Not exactly sure where it's happening uh, or what exactly is going on. 665 is where they're at right now. 665. It's about a mile and a half, a mile and a quarter away from us. Looking about westbound from our location. They said they have sufficient amount of units in the pursuit. 667. So they're moving... Moving pretty steadily. Try to keep tabs on it. Looks like it's actually getting closer to it towards us. Six six three. Yeah, it actually is getting closer to us. It might actually be coming down this road. All right, we're rolling back up into the station here, wrapping up this Port Authority patrol in the count or in the city. All right, we're pulling back up into the station here, wrapping up this Port Authority patrol in the city in this nice Tahoe that or in this nice Ram I don't know why I said Tahoe which is now it has the uh pretty much the frosted fro frosty frosted that's that's redundant the frosted donuts wheels now that was super redundant when I said frosty frosted obviously that's the, the same word uh we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here though ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP and we will see you next video